Now here's the situation. This reel right here, this is a Black Max uh, from the Abu Garcia B Max 3. So in other words, this is a third generation Black Max. Um, not too awful long ago, I had a situation with this reel where I was using it. The problem was the handle is only really supposed to go this way. However, in some occasions it would go the other way. That's not good. It's not supposed to do that. So what happened was the stock anti-reverse bearing, also known as a one-way roller bearing, actually this one right here, this is the one that came with the reel. It was in the reel when I got it. It was starting to not work. It was malfunctioning. So what happens when that happens is you either have to hope that you can clean it and it'll be fine. Or in my case, I just went ahead and replaced it. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So in other words, we're going to take the reel apart. I'm going to show you where to get to it, how to get it out of there. Now, although I've already replaced this one with the replacement one that I got from uh, eBay, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like and how to get in there. If you need to do this yourself, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Now, keep in mind, even though we're going to be looking today at the Black Max 3, um, the process itself would look pretty much identical along their max line. So the Black Max is the Silver Max is the Pro Max is and all that kind of stuff. And the general theme of what we're doing would be identical for most any model and make. Um, but for those of y'all out there that have a Black Max or a Silver Max or a Pro Max, uh, this hopefully will give you a pretty good insight into what to look for when you're going through that process. If you need to get to the point where you got to swap out that stock roller bearing for a new one uh, in order to keep the reel going. Now, as far as the parts and all the kind of stuff you need, um, really not a whole lot going on there. We need the reel, of course, just because that's what you're going to be working on. Um, you'll need the replacement bearing. Now, this is the one that came in here and I already replaced it, but um, I will go ahead and link in the description the eBay store where I bought the replacement one that is currently in there. Um, so we won't be swapping the stock one back in. I'll just kind of show you and we'll kind of mock it so that way you can see what it looks like. Um, but besides the obvious stuff, you need you a 10 millimeter wrench or a socket at least uh, and a small screwdriver. So I got this one here and then I'll take care of some screws we got to get into um, the side plate there. So let's go ahead and jump in. So a quick word of wisdom before we get started and start taking this apart. If you're new to taking apart reels or you're just not familiar with the one that you're working on, it's never a bad idea to have the schematic with you. I'm not leading by example because I don't have a schematic with me. However, I've taken this thing apart so many times at this point, I'm not too worried about it. But again, if you're trying to build some of that confidence with it, please have the schematic somewhere nearby for reference. So the plan is to kind of show you all from start to finish what we got going on here. So we're gonna start from square one, and that is the basic disassembly to make sure we can get into um, the internals. Now, the roller bearing itself is right on the other side of this side plate over here. So unfortunately, it's not so easy to get to where we don't have to take things apart. Um, but it's, it's, not, it's not bad, you'll see. We're gonna go in there piece by piece and uh, you'll see what you gotta do. So we'll get all this stuff out here. I'll lay everything down uh, in the order that we're taking it off to help the whole reassembly thing go as smooth as possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it long form so I'm not gonna make any unnecessary cuts along the way so you can kind of see what we're doing got that let's get the spool out of there so uh, the black max 3 has this little thing that's got a spring on it and you just kind of put your thumbnail right in here push that down toward um, the, at least on the right side I'm not sure how the left side or the left handle one works but the right handle one you send it over here to the right then you take your plate and you just twist it up and it pops right off so we'll put that down spools here and I've already taken some tape and put it over the line that way it doesn't come all unraveled so we can just set those aside uh, so we've got all of that taken care of. So we need to get in over here. So we've got our drag star. We'll get him off of here. Put him down in this general vicinity. We've got a little spacer. We've got these little opposing washers. I might have even put those on wrong last time I put this together. So <laughs> either way. So we'll put those down. All right, so here's we got everything kind of exposed more or less. So you can kind of see it now uh, right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if the camera is going to capture it. But you see the uh, clutch sleeve, which is this piece here that goes along um, the shaft of, um, well, I guess it's the handle shaft that goes down to the main gear. Um, but there's this metal part that you can kind of see, and that itself is uh, the one-way roller bearing or the anti-reverse bearing. Again, that's the one I've already put in there that I replaced the stock one with. Um, but that's our target. That's where we're going to try to get into right in here. So in order to do that, we got four screws that we need to take off the side to get the plate off. So I'm going to put my thumb over here and apply pressure and then kind of hold 
uh, the other side of the reel together because uh, there are some springs in here. So if I were to just kind of willy nilly take these screws out, chances are uh, things might go flying in the direction I don't want them to, and then it's gonna be a problem. So we're gonna take the four screws out. So just a heads up with the Black Max, um, there are four screws, there's three on this side and there's one that's you gotta get to from uh, over here. Three of these are the exact same lengths, which are the one here in the bottom, the one in the back, and then the one up here that you get from the inside of the reel facing outward. The one up here toward the level wind system, that is the shortest of the four. So if you happen to have those screws kind of go all funky on you, that's a quick little trick to help make sure that you're putting them in where they need to go. So again, we're holding the plate on there with pressure in my hand. That way things don't go crazy. All those are out. So here's kind of like the moment of truth. Now we're going to open this up. We're going to expose the inside, uh, all the gearing, all that kind of stuff. But really, and I want to bring this over here. That way it's flat here on the surface I'm working on. Uh, we're going to bring it up slowly and then pretty much straight up. And I'm not going to rush it here. All right, now. So that's kind of like, that's what we want to get to right here. So specifically right here is the bearing. Now that's the bearing for the spool shaft. Um, as I pull this up, the uh, clutch sleeve, which is this thing right here. So the, uh, the bearing sleeve itself um, came undone. Now that goes and that fits inside of the bearing itself. Now, uh, I'm not replacing, or at least I didn't replace this one. This is still a stock one. It's not a bad idea, especially in your nicer reels. And you want to make sure that you don't have issues with them moving forward to replace both the uh, bearing itself as well as the sleeve. Um, I've retained the stock one and so far everything's working fine, but don't lose this um, Definitely check it Make sure it's not damaged. Make sure it's not cracked or whatever. Um, this is gonna be a very important piece Excuse me as I do a little burp there um, This thing needs to not get lost and you also keep in mind I don't know again if the camera's gonna pick it up But it's got a couple notches one right here one right there and that makes it to where it can only fit on that main shaft there Once you've lined that up this is what spins on the actual handle shaft there. And within itself, this piece, or at least the outside of it, is what grabs onto the mechanisms within the one-way uh, roller bearing to actually allow it to work the way it's intended to. Uh, all that means is if you don't put that back in there the right, or you don't put it in there at all, everything's just gonna spin all willy-nilly. Don't want it to do that. So keep an eye on this sucker right here. We're gonna drop him over there. Um, so now we've just got the plate. So. That's our target right here, this thing. You see this, uh, I guess it's a white piece of plastic or so that inserts into the little metal casing that the bearing itself um, has and that you can see that's shining here from the outside. So really all we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some pressure from that side over here and we're just gonna push it out. And that's it. I mean, that's, again, this is the one I've already replaced. So this is not the stock one. This is the one that um, I bought and put in there already. And I'll go ahead, I don't know if I mentioned it so far, but. Uh, I don't remember the part number off the top of my head, but I'll put the link for the eBay shop where I bought this at in the description. So if you need to grab one or several, um, you can do that, or at least as long as the uh, link is active. So again, here's the stock one. We already took it out. It's got some lettering on it, whereas the replacement here is just kind of like a flat uh, metal sur surface. There's no um, markings on it or anything. So kind of pretend that we, you know, we're swapping them. So boom, we took out the stock one. We'll put that aside. Um, the way it's set up, they really it's only going to fit in there a certain way. Uh, if you happen to put it in backwards, you'll find out pretty quickly because when you put everything back together, it'll only spin the wrong way. Um, but the key here, at least for this one, is this white plastic insert piece fits in toward the inside of the plate and the reflective metal part faces outside toward the outside of the reel. So pretty much straightforward. Push it down in there and that's all there is to it. So. We've got that, and I mean, that's the bulk of what we're trying to do. Now, we've got the inside of the reel exposed, and as a result, I'm not gonna show you all this process here, but I need to put some grease on the main gear just because it looks like um, I haven't, well, I cleaned it recently, but it looks like we're lacking a little bit of grease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here real quick. I'm gonna put some grease on there. I promise you it's not very exciting. I'm gonna do that, then we're gonna come back, and then I'm gonna show you how we put it all together from this phase right here, just to get everything back where it needs to be, and we'll keep it rolling. All right, we got our grease on the main gear there. So let's go ahead and start reversing everything we've done thus far um, to get the reel back together. So the side plate with the new bearings in, we're going to take the uh, clutch sleeve. Um, those little notches I mentioned earlier, those are gonna be facing outside, so towards the handle. So we're gonna take that part and put that right in the middle there. Now, the jury's out online with all the uh, experts as far as if you should be putting any type of oil or grease 
on these parts. And the general consensus that I've found is that you have the potential if you put too much oil or too much grease inside of the bearing, so essentially what would be on those roller parts inside there, um, it can foul it up to the point it could cause the mechanism to not work correctly. In other words, you'll run into a situation where it'll fail. Um, so from what I've read and what I will recommend until I get further evidence to suggest otherwise, don't put anything on there. I mean, make sure it's clean, um, but don't grab you a whole bunch of oil or grease and just slather it in there. Um, pretty much take it out of the package, put it into the reel, or at least on the side plate here, and you're good to go from there. So that's what we're going to do. So we're not putting anything uh, on the actual new bearing itself. So now that that's there, we're looking down on the reel again, we'll take the side plate. Make sure that we got things going down nice and smooth. Don't force anything, as you all probably know if you work on reels. If you got to force something back, it's probably not going back correctly, and you might end up causing more problems than you saw, which is never fun. So we got that going. And right here, we can even test it just, to, again, to make sure that it's going correctly. Um, it should only be spinning one way, which is that way. If it went backwards, then obviously that's not good. Uh, it looks like we're good to go on this one. So that's there. So pretty much, yeah, opposite of what we did to get here. So we're going to take our screws that we took out. We're going to get those cinched back in there. One at a time. Remember that shortest one that goes up by the level wind system. And then the other three are the same length, so they can go in in any order you happen to prefer. If you prefer an order at all, just make sure they're back in there kind of important all right then we got our short one up here cool all right all four of those screws are in there so we'll get the uh let's get our opposing washers two washers you want to make sure that there's they don't lie in flat there's a little gap there if y'all can see it but you want to make sure you got that little gap there again refer to your schematics if you need to we got a little spacer that goes right there and our drag star itself try not to cross thread because if you do that it's no bueno And of course, if the camera wasn't on, this would be, it, it had been like instantaneous, but because I'm recording this, that's what's happening. So bear with me. There it is. Hey, all right. We're going to spin it down and I'm, I've got my finger up here um, on the line guide to give a little bit of pressure so I can at least get that started without too much fuss and hassle so we got that there let me go ahead and just put this on here since we're already looking at this side spool tension knob goes there all right let's get the spool back in drops right in there and our side plate pretty much exact opposite of what we did to get it off so you put it down there on a little bit of an offset and you just twist it it'll pop right into place it's good to go all right you can check and make sure everything's going where it needs to then we'll put our handle back on because you need that. I swear I've done this before, even though it don't look like it. And then I'll go ahead and proceed to cross thread this because why not? Some test spins just to make sure everything's good to go. Get that drag down. All right. Take our socket. Just give it enough to get it where it needs to go. Give or take. Don't over tighten that either. That's not a good thing. And this sucker right here. And then we got the screw that keeps that where it needs to be. And it looks like we're back together. So there we are. So start to finish, take it apart, 
swap out the part that you need to, which is our one-way roller bearing slash anti-reverse bearing. Get it all back together, and you're good to go. So I appreciate y'all watching. If you have a question about anything um, specific to this process or this reel, feel free to let me know. Uh, but like I said, even though we're looking at the Black Max 3 today, uh, it should be a pretty similar, if not identical, process for uh, Black Maxes of other generations, Silver Maxes, Pro Maxes. And then again, the, the overall theory of what we're doing here, which is just jumping in and swapping out that bearing, is going to be pretty similar across all reels. So if you can get one changed, chances are you can do a lot more. So that's that, y'all. We got a reel ready to roll. Hopefully it doesn't do any backward stuff on me. If it does, I'm just going to go ahead and cry and throw this in the bottom of the river. But until then, you all take care. I'll see you soon.